Most of us who have worked in the real world, and by real world, I mean you are not a Hollywood actor that lives to be 106 because you never did any physical labor in your life. Well, by the time you reach your late 40s, early 50s, your body, depending on what you've done for a living, is starting to feel the effects of that. Your back could be hurting, your, your feet could be bothering you. There could be a number of problems that are making it very, very difficult for you to get through the day, every single day, and you don't know what else to do. And you've been thinking about filing for disability, whether it be Social Security or VA disability. Now, if there's one thing I have become quite the expert on, is both. Uh, I can tell you I had a six-year battle with, v- with uh, Social Security disability in order to get the benefits that I paid into all my working life. And I started working at a very young age. Uh, I started working for my father, uh, probably about 11 or 12 years old. He owned a chain of restaurants. And by 13, 14 years old, I was in the system with Social Security. So my working record goes way back. And then you add the military to it. uh, You know, my, my body has taken a beating and I chose jobs that were usually pretty hard labor so i put a pretty good beating on my body and in my early 40s i started feeling things and i worked and continued till i was almost 50 and then i injured my back seriously and i could not i could not be on my feet very long at all i couldn't lift anything so pretty much you know what are you going to do what are you going to do when your body, my nose itches, when your body is so bad, there's nothing you can do. Sitting. I couldn't sit for long periods of time. I couldn't stand for long periods of time. Nobody is going to hire you when you're constantly getting up and down and, and you can't lead a productive day. Uh, nobody, nobody wants anything to do with that. And so you won't get hired. And if you do, they'll probably get rid of you pretty quick. Uh, it's just not a fun situation. Now, you must have meet certain requirements to in order to get Social Security. And if you've been working a legitimate job for many years, you shouldn't have any trouble. The key is do not wait too long after you quit working to apply because there are what are, what are called credits. And they only go for so long, uh, four or five years. And if you don't have enough credits when you apply, you're not going to get it. Uh, and, and, and that is something that once you attain, a, you know, the credits, they will over time disappear again. So that is very important. And my advice to anybody that is uh, seeking Social Security disability, get a lawyer. Get a lawyer right from the beginning, I know. A lot of us are lawyer shy, lawyer scared, but they know what they're doing and your chances are, you know, when I initially filed for social security disability, I made a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes that they used against me for six years until I finally won. And you don't want to do that. They will know, you know, I got in too big of a hurry and I answered some questions in a way I shouldn't have answered them. And that, that haunted me through the whole experience. So get an attorney. There usually doesn't matter if you have an attorney or, or what. They are going to deny you the first time. They're going to deny, deny you probably the second time. And then you're going to end up in front of a, a law judge. And my first time was denied. I took it to the federal uh, appeals court and lost there. I had to reapply and, and I'm running out of credits. Okay. Once you lose the federal appeal and nowadays you're not even going to find a lawyer that wants to do the federal 
federal uh, appeals process. It's too complicated. They don't want to mess with it. They don't have to. They got too many clients. You know, he told me the second time, we're not going to do that again. Uh, just, I'm, I quit doing them. Fortunately, the second time around, uh, after seeing the law judge for the second time, I won. Uh, but six years had passed since I first filed until I won the claim. And back pay does not go back to the first case. It went back to the second case. So I didn't get six years worth of back pay. I got about a year and a half's worth. So it's very important that you have medical evidence, good, hard medical evidence before you even enter into it. I didn't have any. I did not have any medical evidence. That's when I went and got the lawyer. He says, we got to send you to start getting your doctor's appointments. I got MRIs. You know, you have to find out what's wrong before you can make a claim. You can't tell them, oh, my back hurts. They're not going to buy that. They need medical evidence. They need MRIs. They need doctor statements. Same with VA, okay? Now, I should have went the other route and filed VA first because I had, uh, I'm not going to get into what my claims are, but they are in my military file. It was simple. The very first time was simple. Um, the medical evidence was there. They will send you to the doctor again. It's called the CMP exam. All right, what's going on with my, okay. I guess my phone is hooked up into this somehow and it beeped. The VA will also send you to, uh, get your CMP exam. You know, they want proof as well. Neither one of them are easy. So don't think you're just going to file and tell them you've got these issues and you're going to be approved because most likely you will not be approved and it will be a battle like you have never experienced. Uh, my advice is make sure you have, go to your doctor, explain, this is what I did. I said, look, I need to file disability. We need to get this done, this done, this done. We need to get these tests, my knees, my back, whatever ailments you have, you need to get x-rays, you need to get MRIs, whatever it needs to be done. Sometimes that's hard for people to do, but there are ways. Then you have something to present to them, and then they're going to pick that apart. I'm talking about Social Security. Social Security is unbelievable. They are going to pick it apart. Make sure you have statements. This is a mistake I made, and I'm going to emphasize this. Make sure every time you may have a doctor's visit that you get a state, have them write out a statement about your diagnosis. Because I did not do that. And when you go back to look at some of the medical records, there's not, no statement at all from the doctor. You have to request those things. And those carry a lot of weight in the decision. Okay. Uh, they're not going to look at your doctor's statement and say, oh, well, he's a liar. And you know, and you got to keep in mind, social security and VA, they have their own doctors that look over this. And if the stuff's, if there's no explanation, if there's no description of what your symptoms are, how, what your pain levels are, you may not win that. And I battled them for years and years. And let me tell you, during this process, I still could not work uh, a gainful employment. And what gainful employment is, is a typical 40 hour week where they take taxes out. I could not do that because I could not be on my feet uh, very long at all. So I took a job at a ranch. Um, he understood my situation. So if, if you get you're able to get employment where they understand your situation, which is very hard to do, you know, then you can squeak by, but it was very, very tough years, uh, during this process. Uh, when you are finally, if you finally get approved, that eases things up a little bit, you know, you may get a good back paycheck. You may not. Uh, you, you will get Medicare through social security, uh, VA, it, depending on what your rating is, you make, you're going to get free medical care. Uh, I think it's up to, 
you got to have a 50% rating or better with the VA to get free medical. Um, and I get that. But I also have my Medicare with that, which is a good thing. Uh, I can go to my personal doctor. I can go to the VA. And, you know, so you're not overinsured. It's, it's just good to have. And I still got some claims going through the VA um, that's looking good. You're, you're, you want to get the highest rating you can. Uh, I'm not getting into my issues, but they are real. I assure you they are very real. But the key is, you need to listen to this right now. Listen to me right now and, and remember these words. Do not give up they deny you you move to the next step you appeal it it's going to take time you're not going to get this overnight it could take years but in the end if you went out then you then you've done well but do not give up just let them know no matter what they say you are you are coming right back at them and Social Security is, is what I'm mainly talking about. And the same with the VA. Do not give up. In fact, they denied, the VA recently denied one of my claims about a year ago. And I filed an appeal. And not only did I win the appeal, that they increased my rating by 20, 20 more percent, which is big. So never give up. Make sure you have all your evidence you need doctor's letters. I cannot stress how important having statements from your doctor is. Now I am very fortunate. Mine is very much on board with what I'm doing. And she, she writes out some good, you know, she's not lying. She's telling them she's writing out some good detailed descriptions of what I've gone through. And she's been treating me the last eight years. So she knows, you know, they're, they're going to see, oh, she's, she's been consistently treating him for eight years. So she really knows what his issues are. So medical is very important. If you, if you don't have any medical evidence, you're going to have a tough time. You're, I'm not saying you will lose, but you're going to have to build that medical evidence over, over the fight. I mean, while you're, the process is going on, keep going to the doctor. Keep going. Get those medical statements. Those are so important. If I would have had those, I assumed because I was going to get an MRI on my back that there would be a statement, and there was not. Okay, It was just showing the evidence of what the MRI found, but the doctor's statement would have helped by saying, well, this is he's got this, and it's causing this kind of pain, and this is why he has this issue. Well, I didn't have any of that, so don't make the mistake I made. Uh, make sure you, you got all your stuff in order before you even file, if possible. Now, if you don't have anything, I'm not saying don't file, but get a lawyer. You know, get a lawyer. I did not get an attorney for VA disability. I went to, uh, we have an office here in town, and... It's the American Legion. Uh, it's a veteran, and he, that's what he does. He helps veterans with any issues they have. He helps them file for VA. Uh, I think, you know, my, my experience getting VA disability has not been near as bad as Social Security. Social Security was a nightmare. They, and, and you know, they have to be vigilant like that because there are so many people, young people, Old people, just there are so many people abusing the system. There are people drawing, drawing checks that there's nothing wrong with them. I know this for a fact because when I first moved here, I, I, I worked for a pawn shop putting things online for and selling on eBay, and, and these young people would come in, oh, I'm waiting on my crazy check. You know, they're pawning things. And then they'll tell, they'll tell the guy, well, I'm waiting on my crazy check, and then I'll get it out. Well, they're claiming they have a mental issue. You know, very easy to go to the doctor, the, the shrink, have them write up a statement that you're mentally incompetent. And that's, they, they know how to beat the system. 
a lot of them are on SSI, which I did not want anything to do with SSI. They limit your income. If you own property, you're probably not going to get it. And if you do get it, it's only about seven, $800 a month. So it's, it's really not even worth having other than the fact you're probably going to have Medicaid. So, you know, if, if you've reached a point in your life that you can no longer work, you know, like did, I've got degenerative uh, disc disease and I've got some, uh, I got some nerves, exposed nerves. I've got bulging discs. Those will never get better. Never. I can never work at the capacity that I used to work ever again. Uh, now I'm losing weight. It's making it easier, but it, that, that is never going to disappear for my, my back. It's always going to have that issue. I know I can't go back and run a newspaper press like I used to do. I can't do it. I can't be on my feet for one thing because I've got multiple foot problems as well. And, you know, don't let people tell you, and I've heard people say, oh, it's, it's a handout. It is not. Neither one of them are a handout. If you've worked all your life, you've got 30 plus years in the system. You've paid into that. Social Security, you've paid into that. You are not getting a handout. It is a, it is a insurance that you pay on every single paycheck. So don't let people, people that say, oh, it's a handout, a free government check. Well, they're, they, they're disgruntled. They probably applied, could not get it because they didn't have enough work credits. I know a particular case <laughs> I could speak about, but I won't. And that is the issue there. Didn't have enough work credits. But anybody else that gets VA or disability, Social Security disability, oh, well, they're, they're losers. It's a handout. It is not a handout. So do not be afraid. Do not care what people think. Just do what you need to do to survive. That's my advice. Um, VA disability is definitely not a handout, and I take great offense to somebody saying something like that, that it's a free government check, because it is not free. It is not. Thanks for watching. I hope this was uh, some help to you guys. If so, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. Thank you for watching. Happy trail.